Have you been asked to journalize discount or premiums on bond issuance and you're not sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you in this short video just how easy it is to do. But first, I want to say I believe something wonderful is going to happen for you soon. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. I did a prior video in which we discussed how to determine if a particular bond issuance is at a discount or a premium and just how much that discount or premium is. If you missed that video, you may want to start out with that. I've linked it up here. This is the information from that one. And we had two scenarios. In the first scenario, we had ABC Company issuing bonds with a par value of $100,000 on January 1, 2020X. And the bonds had a contract rate and interest was paid semi-annually. The bonds mature in three years and the bonds were sold for $94,300. We determined that because it was selling for less than the face value or par value, that it was a discount. And the difference between the 100,000 and the 94,300 was the $5,700. So that was the amount of the discount. So let's make a journal entry for that particular transaction for the issuance and sale of the bonds. I'm gonna use my general journal form here and uh, we have January 1 of 2020X. So I'm going to put that there. So we've got the date, and then we have the description here, and then we're going to put in the debits and credits. If you want a general journal form such as this one to practice, I've got a link down in the description that you can use to better understand and better practice these with. Also, if you want to better understand just what a bond is and you're not quite sure what it is, I've linked a video right here for you to start out with learning the basics of a bond. Here, we have to do our debits and credits, our journal entry for this transaction. I always like to start with cash. It's the easiest thing to understand and it is also my favorite thing. Here we received $94,300 cash. And because we sold the bonds and received the cash, our cash is going up. Cash is an asset, so it increases with debits. So I'm gonna put in here cash. And we're gonna debit it for the amount we received, $94,300. That's the first part of the entry. Of course, our debits and credits have to balance. And we also know that the bonds were issued and they have a face value or par value. Those terms are often interchangeable of $100,000. That means we have a liability of $100,000 and that is for the bonds. And since it's a liability and our liability just increased by $100,000, we're going to credit that for $100,000. So I'm going to go ahead and put bonds. $100,000. Now, our debits and credits need to balance. And in this case, they don't. We have too much on the credit side and not enough on the debit side. So what is the debit that we need to put here? to go ahead and balance this out. Well, we know that the amount, the difference is that $5,700. So I can go ahead and put that down here as $5,700. And now if we add that up, that's $100,000, our debits and credits balance. What is our debit for $5,700? We're gonna call that 
discount on bond issuance. And so now we have two debits, cash and discount on bond issuance, and one credit, and that is for bonds. The discount on bond issuance is actually going to be a debit account. It's going to be a debit balance account, and then we're going to amortize that over time. And I'll show how to do that in a later video. If you're finding this information helpful, I really appreciate if you just click on that thumbs up button. It really helps me out and it shows me that this is the type of video that you need more of. So we've done this transaction. Let's look at the second one. In scenario two, we have the same $100,000 $100, par value bonds issued on the same date, but in this case, they were sold at a premium of $104,000. The actual premium is that difference, which is $4,000. We need to do the journal entry for scenario two. I'm going to skip a space here or two, and we're going to go and put the date 112x. And again, I like to start with cash. In this case, we received $104,000 cash when the bonds were sold. So I debit cash, being an asset, and it increased, I'm debiting it, and it's for $104,000. And we know that we just created a liability of bonds for $100,000. So I'm going to go and put that as a credit. Of course, these two don't balance. We have a $4,000 difference, and that's the amount of our premium. So we need more on the credit side. So I'm going to put the $4,000 over here. And in that case, since it is a premium, I'm going to call that credit premium. on bonds issued. Didn't leave myself enough room, did I? That's all right. You get the idea, and that's how you make the journal entry for the premium on bonds issued. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to do some more videos on bonds. They seem to be very popular. And um, in real world, too, there's a lot going on with bonds, especially treasury bonds. And I've got a whole series on that. If you uh, would like to see more videos such as this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.